Have you had trouble trying to align your stock into a vise in Fusion? Well, in this video, I'll show you a couple different ways and methods to do this. So I recently saw a post where somebody was asking how to position uh, a piece of stock into a vise inside of Fusion. Uh, and this vise I just grabbed from the cam samples section inside of Fusion under work holding and then under this fifth axis work holding there's this fifth axis v562 so that's the uh, the vice i'm using in this example now it's already set up with um, some sliding jaws that have some existing joint origins on here and that's what's going to help us out with this task and then i'm going to show another example uh, where there isn't joint origins and how we can go about creating those so let's say i want to um, create a piece of stock and mount it inside this vise so i'm going to go ahead and start by creating a new component and i'll just call it stock and I'll, use, I'll just use a box primitive in this example. Um, so let's just do maybe something like, oh, let's just make it 1.375 for the width, um, maybe like seven inches in the length, and uh, maybe just two inches uh, for the height or something like that. So here's, here's the piece of stock I wanna mount into the vise. So I'm gonna use the joint command to do this. And what I wanna do is basically line up uh, a joint origin on the stock with one of these joint origins here that exists on the vise. So I'm gonna kinda of look at the bottom of the stock here and you'll notice this little uh, joint origin icon is sitting like flat on the bottom. If I get near the edge, it kind of turns vertical and it's going along the edge. So I want it to be flat along the bottom and I also want to grab the middle. And so you'll notice there's these tick marks. So, you know, um, circles in the corners, uh, triangles um, identify midpoints. So you can see there's a triangle here, there's a midpoint there. Um, and then a square identifies basically the center of the stock. So I'm gonna just hover over this bottom face and then kind of slide toward that midpoint there. And you can kind of see it snaps to that point. So I'm gonna click there. And then I'm gonna come over to this jaw over here and get kind of near this joint origin. And you can kind of see it's wanting to select some of these other points, but as I get near that joint origin, it snaps to that joint origin. So I'm gonna go ahead and click there and it moved my stock and it lined those two joint origins up with each other. And you can actually see, you know, the side of the jaw here and it's sitting flat on the um, flat plane of the jaw here also. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, okay, let me just go ahead and activate this top level. Now, if I slide this left jaw, we can see that sure enough, the stock is attached to this left jaw because we created a rigid joint, but you'll notice that the right jaw is not attached. So let's go ahead and repeat this. I'm gonna go ahead and say joint, um, and I'll do this exact same thing. I'm gonna slide along here, grab that midpoint there, and then I'm gonna zoom up and hover over until I get to that other joint origin there and I'll go ahead and click and it kind of gives me a preview of what that looks like. Sure enough, it looks like it's touching the jaw in the correct way. And now when I say okay, you'll notice that the jaws have separated and they're in the correct position to hold this stock and it's perfectly centered in this jaw. So in this example, we have a, a vise that doesn't have any um, existing joint origins that we can snap to. So we're gonna have to create those. Um, this might have been a vise that we imported from a particular vendor or off of like GrabCAD or something like that, for example. So 
we want to create those joint origins that we can use um, the joint command with with our stock. So I'm going to come into the assemble menu and go to the joint origin command. Now typically with the joint origin you hover over something and you can see all of these tick marks that we can snap to and create joint origins at those points. But there's other options here such as between two faces and then the seldom known about two edge intersection and this is the one we're going to use. So I'm going to select two edge intersection and basically what we want to do is we want to create a joint origin that sits flat on this face and is in line with this face here. So I'm going to select this edge which is part of this face and I'm going to select this edge which is part of this face and it's going to create an intersection and put the joint origin at that point. In fact let me just go ahead and do that. I'll select that edge I'll select that edge and you can see sure enough it like extended those lines and it created a joint origin at that intersection. However, there's a couple issues with this. First of all, we can see that the joint origin orientation is incorrect. It's kind of like sitting on edge and we want it to sit like flat on that face. So we're going to expand open this reorient menu that's currently closed. So I'm going to expand that open and you can see there's an option in here to specify the Z axis. So I'm going to click on that select and you can see I can hover over a face or an edge that would define the new Z axis direction. So I'm going to go ahead and select that face and now we can see that that joint origin is sitting planar to that face and the Z axis is pointing up. Also I can see that the X axis is kind of pointing in the negative direction so I might actually specify that also. So I might come in here and like click on this edge here and now we can see that the X axis is um, pointing down the length of the vise. Okay, so we've fixed the orientation of the uh, joint origin, but I now want it to be in the middle of this vise, and I have no idea where that is. So here's a little trick that I use. I'm just gonna go ahead and start to drag, and sure enough, I can see that that's going in the X direction, because that's the only one that the number's changing. And then I'm going to select these three little dots next to the X offset and select measure. Then I can select one of the edges that defines the length of the vise. So I'm going to go ahead and select this edge here and you can see it, it measured that edge and it filled that in. In fact, we can see the joint origin jumped all the way to the end because we told it What's the offset? Well, it's the length of that edge. We told it to measure that edge. And in this case, it's 3.0314. Well, we want to go half of that. So I'm going to select this and then say divided by two. And sure enough, by doing that, we can see that it brings the joint origin halfway back. I'm going to go ahead and say OK. And we now have this joint origin that's centered along the jaw, it's sitting planar to this face, and it's also in line with this face here. So we can kind of see that like so. Okay, and it's attached to that left jaw. If I were to move that left jaw, you can kind of see it belongs to that left jaw. So let's do the exact same thing for the right jaw. Um, I'll go a little bit quicker uh, since it's kind of a rinse and repeat. So I'll do a joint origin, two edge intersection. I'll select the two edges. It creates that joint origin for me. We want to reorient the Z axis and the X axis in this case. I'll start to drag just to confirm. Sure enough, that's the X direction. Let's go ahead and measure that edge. 
It could be this edge, it could be this edge, it really doesn't matter. There's that number. I'll go ahead and divide that by two and it brings that joint origin half the length of that edge. And that joint origin is now attached to the right jaw. So we just quickly created these joint origins where they need to be. And now if I were to come in and create my stock, so let's go ahead and uh, create a stock. I'll go ahead and do a box. Let's just do something maybe like uh, one inch wide. Um, let's just do maybe like four inches in length. And um, maybe, yeah, let's just leave it like 0.5 tall, like so. Create a joint. Again, I'm just gonna kind of hover over the bottom face kind of snap toward that left edge and then get near that joint origin there and click and it's going to position that and we can see sure enough it's lined up against that left edge and sitting on that face and I didn't show this last time but we're doing a rigid joint type. I'll go ahead and say okay and then I'll do the exact same thing hover over that bottom snap to that midpoint, snap to that joint origin, say okay, and when we do that, we can see that the jaws expand to the correct width, and they're now held in place. The, the stock is um, being held in place by the jaws. I can't move them. And what's nice is if I came in and changed my parameters of my stock, so if I expand this open and let's just say the stock is now you know 1.5 inches wide, we can see that those jaws will update accordingly. Hopefully you learned something new in that video. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe to stay informed on upcoming videos. If you need help learning Fusion, please visit my webpage at cadedllc.com. And as always, have fun learning Fusion.